video is going to be a Zara haul. I was just browsing through the website and they have so many fun, like beautiful new things for the springtime. So I'm just going to be showing you guys what I picked up. This is going to be a try on haul. So I'm going to show you guys how I like to style these pieces with things that are already in my closet. So the first thing is this really cute sweater top. This is just how it looks like now. As I'm holding it, you're really not going to be able to see exactly what this is, but this is a wrap sweater top. And yeah, it's just really cute. It has long sleeves and then it has these huge long ribbons. So what you do with these is you just kind of take both of these and wrap it around the back and you bring it into the front and then just tie it on the side. That is such a cute concept and when I saw this on the website I just thought of it and I was like you know what this is something Rachel Green would wear. Since I love Rachel from Friends she's definitely like a fashion inspo for me. I knew that I had to pick this up. I did get it in a size small so it fits me perfectly. It's like super snug. I can also go a size up if I want just to be a little bit more comfortable but I'm going to keep the size small because I think it just looks really nice. I don't like to wear uncomfortable clothing pieces. I don't care how good you're going to look in it. If something is uncomfortable and I don't like the way that it feels on my body, I will definitely return it and I won't wear it. I like comfort fashion. That's just kind of like the vibe that I go for. I love pairing this with my mom jeans and just for a pop of color, I put on some red heels for to show you guys. But usually how I would wear this day to day is I just kind of pop on some white sneakers and I'm good to go and I love that and when you're just feeling a little bit more dressy you can definitely wear heels with it so I love this top it's so comfortable and it looks great and yeah that's that and then with that I actually paired it up with this brown crocodile belt this sort of croc skin pattern is really in these days definitely this is a must-have item for 2020 there are so many bags that have the same sort of croc pattern and um yeah like this belt is gorgeous and just something i gravitate towards these are the tones i go for so i love this it was a little bit pricey i will admit for a belt it doesn't really feel like the best quality for what i paid for i feel like it's you know gonna last me one year before i wear it like crazy and it's going to definitely you know be introduced to a lot of creases and rips so for the longevity and the sturdiness of this belt, I give it like a 3 or 2 out of 10. It's really not that great. So for $40, it kind of makes me question, was this worth it? Because I like to wear my belts every single day. I have a black and a brown belt and I wear those all the time. Even if your jeans fit you snug, I think just adding a belt instantly just makes your outfit go to the next level. So I am someone that wears belts every single day and even though I love this belt, I love the way it looks, it's so me, I'm just kind of disappointed in the quality of it and just for 40 bucks, like Zara, you could have made this a $20 belt and I would totally not question its material or its sturdiness, but for $40, this is not that good of a I'm just being honest, this is not that great. So yeah, just kind of something to keep in mind if you do like that, just expect it to not be of the best quality ever, so. Now, this next clothing piece that I got, I'm not gonna lie, I really, I loved the style of this so much. I, the model was wearing it in this gorgeous like heather gray color and I love the style so much. I was going through everywhere on the website trying to see if I can find that. I came across the sweater but in a totally different shade. Now I don't wear this kind of color. I don't even gravitate towards it. It's so pretty, believe me. But I'm just a neutrals person. I like neutral things like brown, whites, blacks, grays. I don't really go for any sort of color except for mustard maybe mustard and burgundy I love those emerald green love that so I like a little bit more jewel tones a little bit more rich tones right but okay I'll just show you guys I'm gonna stop talking to show you guys the sweater so it's just like this like a dusty salmon color and um, yeah, I just don't gravitate towards colors like these. It's a beautiful sweater. It's actually really soft. It's not itchy whatsoever, but I just don't like the color. And I'm kind of confused about it because I love this style so much that I want to keep it, but then I don't feel confident in the color. I don't know. It's just so weird. So yeah, just... I mean, yeah, so I'm still kind of like on the fence about it, but you can just see how beautiful it is. It's that whole like wrap in the front with the bow tie on the side sort of style that's very popular this season, by the way. And then with that sweater on the website, I saw the model wearing these pants and I was 
so obsessed. I just love pants in general. They're just so comfortable. You can easily wear it with a cute little t-shirt or some sweaters. There, it's just so so good and it's just so modest friendly in my opinion and it just kind of spruces up an outfit um the model was wearing these pants with that same salmon sweater that i showed you guys previously except that sweater was in that gray color and there's just these black gray and beige striped pants these are so interesting because they're not like culottes they're not like a straight legged pants but they're just a little bit more looser than your st average straight legged um pants and on the bottom here they have this really large fold i just find that so interesting i usually never fold my pants with such a wide fold to it but i don't i liked it and i thought it was really interesting i don't really have anything like this in my closet already so i knew that this was something i was gonna love it's, it's a little bit more edgy to a simpler basic item which i really do appreciate and these pants are just so comfortable there are so many different ways to style it enough talking about the pants this was actually another kind of like item that i never gravitate towards and i don't know what i was thinking I could think of so many different ways that I can style this on the website how the model styled it I did not like it but when I was just kind of like thinking about how I can style it on my own and there's so many different things that I can do with it I was definitely excited for this piece so these are some beige leather joggers I know can we have a moment <laughs> they're just really soft beige plush leather joggers and they also have like this nice little elastic on the bottom to give you that shape to your pants because they are pretty loose now i got this in a size small and when i wore it it was kind of loose especially on my waist i had to really really like tighten up the string that it comes with but it was still like falling down so i got a black with some gold accent belt and i just put that instead I actually really like the way it turned out before the belt my outfit just looked really bland and there was no shape whatsoever adding that belt really just kind of spruced up the outfit made me look like i have some shape and kept my pants from falling off so these are like my first leather pant anything the only leather that i I have in my closet is like one leather jacket and this was something so new so different but I fell in love with it I think just the color the style and it's so so soft it's so comfortable I, I can just wear this to sleep anytime so I do like it I might go a size down though because I I really want to get the one in black as well so I might get the black ones but I'm gonna get that in an extra small and maybe I'll exchange this for an extra small as well but it was it's really big like if you are thinking of buying these I would definitely size down um, just from personal experience because the plaid pants I got were a small and they fit me really perfectly like absolutely snug But these were a little bit more looser So I would definitely recommend sizing down But if you like loose joggers and you like the whole look then yeah, just kind of stick to your regular size and then this other sweater that I got so this was this is just like a plain black knit cable knit sweater and um, this was on sale for $25 so I was like yes like I needed a black sweater really badly I love wearing sweaters with leggings and sneakers that's like my go-to outfit this is how I styled the first one it's just like with a silk skirt I did not like it because this is so chunky this is going back it's such a basic item but I was so disappointed in this because it makes you look like a box this has no shape to it whatsoever and i love getting sweaters and this is a size small by the way and it still feels just really big and boxy and i have a lot of cable knit sweaters i love cable knit sweaters I actually got one from target in a size large because i love really oversized sweaters i love wearing them with leggings but i decided to get this in a size small because i was like it looked a little bit boxy on the model but you know, I was like, maybe it's not going to be that bad. And it's so itchy. When I was wearing it, I was so uncomfortable the whole time. So even though I got this on sale and I love the cable knit pattern on this, it's so, so pretty. It's so thick. This is going to go back because I know for a fact I'm never going to wear this. It just makes me look like a box. The sleeves are enormously large. Last sort of clothing item that we're going to, that I'm going to mention is this 
is pretty much like my perfect coat in the world. This is a dark camel coat. I think when it comes to coats, Zara just hits it out of the park. Coats are just so, like such good material. They're not scratchy and they look so chic and just professional whenever you wear them. I have been on the hunt for a deep camel coat. Like I've just been going crazy. I do have like a lighter camel coat that I got from Zara as well, but even though I like that, it was just not, it didn't fulfill what I wanted in a camel coat because I was desperately looking for this color. And I'm just so happy I got it. It's a very long coat. It doesn't have a slit in the back, just a little mention, because I know a lot of, I know some people may like a slit in the back of their coat to give them a little bit more of a shape. This one doesn't do that. It's just a long coat. I still think it's really good. It still gives you that shape and it has really nice kind of shoulder pads on it as well. So it's not gonna give you broad shoulders. It's like it's just gonna add in a little bit more shape just because this is a straight long coat So I absolutely love it and it just has these gorgeous like dark turtles turtles um, turtoys turtoys turtles dark brown sort of buttons So I do really like that. It's just like the details on this coat was so nice This was also a sale pick which I was really excited about and I knew that I had to get it so yeah, love getting things on sale. It's the best. And lastly, I had to pick up this bag. They're a city bag, but it's in this brown crocodile print sort of faux leather. And I love this. I was actually expecting this to be a little bit more bigger than what they initially showcased on the website. But when I got this, I was really shocked. I was like, what? I wish it was bigger because I really like those like more so like medium size crocodile structured bags. But you know, it's okay. I decided I'm going to keep this because I've worn it so many times and just paired it with so many things and I love it. It just looks so chic and professional and it just takes me back to the 80s or the 90s. So love this stuff and I've already filled a lot of my things with it. This was $40 and I like this. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is worth it. I would pay $40 for this. However, I'm still kind of mad because this strap is so flimsy they could have really given you a thicker strap and there's already there's already a lot of threading that is coming out coming loose so it's just kind of a disappointment if you're gonna pair something that's a little bit more expensive give your consumers you know a little bit better quality i'm not asking for anything great i know that this is a fast fashion brand it's made outside of the u.s and everything but just like for the prices that you're claiming a product to be make sure you just deliver a little bit more of that quality and just match it with the price because you know sometimes you just it just makes me mad already um filled a lot of things in this bag i'll quickly go through them because i do want to show you guys what fits in this bag my bag is super duper messy right now but we'll just go through it i have this medication for my cat i want to show um the vet this medication but he's done with it now but yeah and then i just have like a little slip i have some gum I got my lotion, I have some mints because I am so cautious about my stinky breath. And then I just have a lipstick, lip liner, a travel perfume. This also comes with a little pocket in the back, by the way, which comes in handy because I can just put whatever that's important, like a little slip and just kind of tuck it in there zip it up so I really do like that and this does fit your phone as well just in case if you're wondering so I just have the iPhone X with a case on it and it fits in there perfectly um, this is also just for a comparison as far as mini bags goes it's bigger than the Gucci super mini Marmont as well just in case if you're wondering and then this also has a back pocket and in the back pocket I just put my card holder just because it's much more easily accessible whenever I'm out and I have to pay for something and you guys just got a two-in-one video by seeing what's in my bag all right you guys so that completes this mini zara haul i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next one